It's quick start time again. Welcome to another episode of the Microsoft Perfume Quick Start uh, series. And if you asked yourself how to exclude specific assets during a scan uh, within Perfume, that's the right session for you. Welcome again. And uh, I would like to show you today an option how you can exclude data assets during a scan that they are there in your source, but not imported into your Azure Perfume data catalog. Let's head over to Azure Perfume. Uh, there are different types of data sources. I've talked about data sources, scan definitions, scan rule set definitions in uh, some episodes again. But today I would like to show you a more generic way of excluding data. Maybe you've already worked and uh, defined a scan for, uh, for example, Azure SQL database. And there is one thing that you can use to exclude specific parts of your scan. It's that part of the screen, scope your scan. In my particular case, we talked with the customer, we started into Azure Perfume, Microsoft Perfume, sorry, and uh, we wanted to exclude some parts of the database. So one schema which is mentioned here, it's sicher nicht für dich in German, it's none of your business. And I would like to exclude everything that is uh, related within that schema. So that is one part where you can just deselect that one and scope your scan. But there is another way how you can exclude specific parts of your data estate. I've ran my scan already without a defined filter and remember 16 assets discovered. With the scan rule set definition, I've already talked about that in episode number six, uh, you are able to define all those uh, configuration settings of your scan definition. And I've already prepared one for you and uh, well, I named it and uh, I applied several classification rules. And there is one thing, and that's the part where the magic happens. It's the ignore patterns. And to be honest, I've ignored that setting too within the last few months because it's written there, define patterns of files to exclude during scans. And with the addition of files, well, I thought, okay, it's just there, but I don't want to have a look at that one. But with that ignore pattern, what you can do is you can add regular expressions in here and you can add up to 10 patterns that are there to exclude data assets. And where is that information used? So I'm going to update my scan definition. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to run a scan again. So let's head over to that one, run that scan again. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you how that thing works. So I'm going to look for that one. Remember, I haven't filtered the information to the, um, or I haven't applied the, the ignore pattern so far. So what I've got here, it's my schema. What I've got here, it's my table that lives and is stored in that schema. And that ignore pattern, it's using the fully qualified name. And as you can see, we've got that part of your fully qualified name. It's the database server name, it's the database, it's the schema, it's the table name. And we've got that regular expression, our ignore pattern, within that fully qualified name. And as I've applied the ignore pattern during my scan, rule set, that is used during that running scan now, well, those entries that are containing none of your business within their fully qualified name, they are excluded there. What I need to do now, and I need to do it fast, I need to go over there 
and I have to delete that schema. It's only for my demo purpose because Azure Microsoft Perfew doesn't delete assets that are already there. So I've scanned my database without a filter and now I'm scanning it with a filter. So I need to clear that one, head over to our sources, scans, and it's in progress. Let's see. It should run and it will take about five to six minutes. So fast forward. Welcome back. After the waiting time, I've shortened that one for you in the video. Let's see if the scan, oh yes, it's already finished. And what you can see, we've got that scan run. That was without the defined filter. That one, the second one, it's with the applied ignore pattern. And what I want to emphasize here, that ignore pattern is not only there for Azure SQL database sources. It's there and you can define that one for scan rules and it doesn't matter what kind of source type you're defining. Because that ignore pattern, it works and really considers the fully qualified name of your data asset within Perfu. So it's not related to the type of sources. And now back to the question, back to the numbers. Why is there 16 going down to 14? We've got one table that is within that schema and that is number two. We've got one data asset, which is the schema name we've ignored plus the table that is ignored now because the pattern is applied. Very easy concept. And if you want to have a look at the documentation, create a scan rule set, there's the ignore pattern definition. And even within that part, it's there for, uh, well, yeah, to ignore patterns of files. But if you scroll down a little bit, it's written over here that it really only considers the fully qualified name. So very easy concept to uh, define centralized ignorance pattern for uh, different data assets for your Microsoft Perfu scanning. And with that, I'm at the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you've already known that ignore patterns. For me, it was new and I will apply that one in our Perfu projects in the future. Stay curious, catalog your data, and sometimes you need to ignore something. See you.